What's up guys, it's Daz here, but you don't really care because we are so far down. And I would show off more of this soundtrack and how much I love it, but we have this guy to deal with. And I don't, I think the guy at the front's the one with the actual stopwatch, so I'm going to try and take him out as fast as possible, hit him with a power smash for 7 damage and then finish him off with Yoshi's ground pound. And I'm going to do it all with style. Mm-hmm, don't burn me. Oh, burn them, that's... Wait, did that do three damage? Wow. Wow, oh. Yeah, I... They look like worms or something, but... Yeah, that usually... I don't think we've seen that in the playthrough, but they can fall down, usually on you, and they confuse you, and... Okay. I probably should have picked that up earlier. Ground pound no worky. Oh, why do you do this? Okay, I'll just use a uh, Frenna. yeah, I want to I want to keep my offensive moves because uh, offensive items even because I have one offensive item. Maybe the reason I don't use offensive items is because they're not really all that strong. And I mean, I can understand why they're not because if they were, they'd be really overpowered, like star powers are. But they're supposed to be special and strong, so I guess it makes sense. But still. Wow, that was very good, Mick. Alright, excellent. Whack only the one that matters. The others will go up, but they won't react. Bye bye. See, fighting off two of those guys, what are they called? Dark Wizards? Probably? I don't know. But they are. Two is pretty manageable. Three is a bit, oh, why would you do that? And then when four comes along, it's like, ugh, no, thank you. Leave me. But yes, the music. It's very dark and ambient, and there's clearly a gap in the wall here. You may notice, if you listen carefully after a while, you'll hear many Mario references. Obviously the underground, un the obvious underground one, and... Can I? Okay. We need, Yoshi we need Yoshi to hover over this bit. I'm trying to listen out for the soundtrack, which is not the easiest thing to do. But then there's the endless stairs, listen. Yeah, I love it a lot, and I'm gonna need to be a little bit smarter about this. That disappears very soon. So what I like to do, there's probably multiple ways to do this, but I'm gonna use Bobbery. Uh, okay, don't... <laughs> I was so eager to run to the left that I threw Bobbery to the left. Throw him to the left. Run while you can, then by the time he explodes, it'll be out. You can jump along here and get over. There you go. Good job, Bobbery. You jumped along as well. You've got some good AI on you. Alright, what's this? Ooh! It's not offensive, so, um, bye bye. I am only accepting offensive weapons, and I might want to use my offensive ones because I'm running out of space. Okay. So you may notice here, you can't go any further. Well, you could probably technically... Can you spring jump, hit the roof and go over? You can. Uh, no, it won't let you go to the left. That's good programming. Alright. Or to the right even. So, let's just go back through this door. Oh man, it's so demonic and good. Alright, so you'll see there's two switches. I would I would assume one's green and one's yellow, or one's le yes, yellow. This looks more yellow, but this also looks yellow, so I'm going to take this one out. You only want to take out one, otherwise you won't be able to get across at all. And I wouldn't be surprised if there's some secret items if you hit the other one too. But let's see what this did. There you go, it brought one down so you can hover over there. Even though that's slightly higher up and I don't know if we can jump that. So I'll flutter it and hope I did that right. Uh, I think I... Oh, okay, I thought I fluttered too early there. If there is other items down there, feel free to look for it yourself and... What? What? Oh, okay, I was gonna say, like, that's literally impossible. Alright, so, we hit this. Where did this take us? Well, bye, Yoshi! Oh, never mind. Uh, what's down here? Anything interesting? Yes, there is. You might have thought you trapped yourself down here, but no. Is there any items down there? Like there are items! There, okay. Hit me again. Good. Uh, oh. I thought I could run around that. 
apparently the game has no sense of depth perception either. Nothing too interesting about that fight, just your regular shenanigans. But if you come to the left, you'll find a spring. It takes you back up here, which you could do if you wanted to. Or you can come down to the bottom right and you'll find... Back to the next block puzzle, you can roll up and get here. Although, this might be a way to get down? Oh well. Now you can see the full animation and sound effect of hitting a spring jump and hitting the roof, but maybe it's a way of getting down for whatever reason you'd want to. Oh, whoa, okay, Mario just sort of unrolled up at the last second. Yoshi, where are you? Thank you. Okay, now that that's done and this is up here, we can flutter across. Hit the red one, two, uh, there we go. And... Uh, I'm not quite certain what the point of that was. Unless they want us to... Oh, I think I know what they want us to do, maybe. If it... Wait, where's Poops? There he is. I think, possibly, they want us to hit it while riding it? See where it takes us? Yeah, there you go. Then you get up here. There you go. This is it. For some reason, I forgot exactly what this area is like, but you're supposed to jump over that, otherwise you'll fall down to where we were before. There you go. It's like chapter six in the train. All right, this is certainly is chapter six, because now we've got more pipes to run along. Falling down there, there's either spikes or a floor that will take you all the way back up here again, so yeah. You can use these little, good job, Coops, good job. You can use these little bars in the carpet to tell exactly where the pipe is, because depth perception is a little bit of an odd thing in this game. There you go. And through the corridor we go. Ooh, it's very coggy. I think there's an enemy here. Leave me alone. Chapter... What is that? Five enemy. Okay, looks like we're going to use more bobbery. We don't actually have to throw bobbery down there. Quite clever how you do with bobbery in this one. Seems like a clock of some kind going on back here. I'm not actually sure what short this is supposed to be, but it's interesting, I guess. You saw the switch was down there, but now you can't see it. What you do is you throw Bobbery into the darkness, well, not the darkness, the blindness, and then you can get across. And now you have the same puzzle that appears in the sequel. You can see that one, three, four, and five are lit up. And a Chain Chomp whacked me in the back of the head. Thank you, Chain Chomp, that was very good of you. But yes, you can see one, three, four, and five are lit up, or two, Five, wait, five, no. One, three, four, and... S wait, I can't do numbers. One, three, four, and six. Jesus, one, three, four, six. Or two, five, and seven or not. So I'm going to go with... I'm gonna do, I'll do it the hard way. I'm going to go one, three, four, six. Jesus. I have a feeling... Actually, no. I, I had to cut away that chain shot battle, otherwise... Otherwise it would have seemed like you had to wait even more for me to work out my mistake. One, three, four, six. Seems easy enough. And, wait, do we have a switch? A key even? No, we don't. Okay. Oh, okay, I know what you got to do. This isn't moving. What a shame. But as you saw, there is a key up there, but we can't get it because it's not moving. But, there's another switch here. We have to do the same... No, we don't. We don't have to do the same thing. I'm thinking this is on the other side of a room. It's not. Just remember that's there. I think next you gotta jump down here. Okay, no you don't. Is there a pipe we can go through? Or was there more to that room and I just am having a brain fart? It could be both. It really could. There you go, there's more to this room past the enemy. Ah, oh, not you. Might also be nice to know that I think Bobbery's bomb attack can get rid of the fog, but I'm not quite certain. And that was weird how we missed, but the other guy still left because we would have hit, but the mist made us miss, I think. That's a bit odd, but alright. Can we get flower moves? We can't. Really? Again? Come on. 
Well, at least he came to the front this time. If I could duplicate myself to make four of me, I'd probably just be the guy standing at the back. I'd feel safest there. Alright. Obviously, this is like, right, when you're stuck, you got to do the Zelda thing. Nine times out of ten, in a Zelda game at least, it's an observation error. Or not, because this only gave me a shooting star. I'm thinking, you can, yeah you can, that's what I'm thinking, right. You can in fact do this without it spinning, I don't know why I thought you could. And you go and jump on the lower one, and use coops. I think it's because later on you use it to sp when it's spinning, and that's why I'm thinking you need the key for that. Jeez, that was not the best moment in the world. Into, into the door we go. And another block for us to spin up to, uh, spring up to even. Ooh, a life room. Yes, please. All right. Um. Oh, so many options. I'm gonna get rid of this jelly. No, I'm not. I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm gonna go to my gear, eat it. What am I after? What did I want to eat? Uh, jelly super, I think. Uh, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Let's eat the jelly super. Then we get the benefits of both. And Lightroom, thank you. Anything over here? No? Alright. Jump up these obnoxiously large stairs. Uh, okay, you can't jump over this bit, so you gotta roll up to do it, so you actually have room to jump. But jeez, who makes stairs this, that large? Ugh, oh, not you again. Really? Wait. You can't hit me, because I'm a roll! Huh! Alright then. Can I reach these? I can't. Of course I can't. Okay. One, three, four, six. I missed six. Don't guard the six. Thank you. <laughs> you can't get me. You're in a cutscene. Bye bye. Is, uh, wait, I'm gonna roll up because now I know that I know their weakness. I'm gonna see if there's anything else to the left. There is not. All right. So by switching on these stars, which for some reason, why? Why would you need to light up a certain amount of stars to make things move when everything's already moving in the background? I don't know. But now that you've done that, the wheel is spinning and we can use that to platform further into where we need to go. Boop. And now we wait. Coop, you're a little close. Thank you. Well, I think I offended Coots by saying he's a little close, but never mind. He's a strong lad nowadays. He's become nice and strong, even though he still has that blister plaster on his nose. So you may notice here, you can't jump up. But this block seems suspicious. It seems like paper is coming off the corner. Let's just use a big old bluff, bluff, gust of wind, even not a blast of wind. And take out this massive disguised thing. You'd think you could just smash it with the super hammer since it's just a cover, but no. Now spin jump down and there you go. I like this dungeon a lot because it actually uses all the things you found and... Oh, is that it? I didn't think so. I don't want it. <laughs> and now we're past those spikes. Now we got to do some careful platforming. Flurry is probably the worst partner to have out on this because she's well, she takes up a lot of the screen, so be careful with that. But there you go, just be careful, and now you're through. Man, this music's so... its Even though it's a classic Mario Underground theme, it's so dramatic. I like it. I feel like there are those items here. Yes, this is a trick. It's not spiked everywhere, but it might be you've made a mistake go back sort of thing. Can I roll under you? I think I can. Ha ha! That's the problem when everyone levitates, you can just roll right under them. You can see there's a st uh, shooting star there, and I believe there's also a life shroom on this larger pillar here, or something, or an ultra shroom, something like that. But actually, considering I'm full on, my, full on items, I'm not going to go for it. Now Mario can instantaneously roll up for me, thank you. Flurry, you look like you were, like, I don't know what you were doing, but it looked weird. And let's go through this door again. 
Another puzzle. It looks like these ones can actually be run up, runned up by Yoshi. But, uh, okay. I'm gonna get Yoshi out for this since I don't want to attack this chain job. Thank you, goodbye. Hit the switch, and now this thing's out, and you have to run yourself, because no other partner can do that for you. Because you've got low stairs, Yoshi can run it. Uh, you probably shouldn't flutter it, but, well, it worked, so. Huh. Okay. A key for a door in the Palace of Shadow. Oh, I forgot you were down here. Do we find any such door that needs a lock? Probably along here. Uh, oh, well, I guess it's a life room over there now. You know for that, for real, for... Hey. What? I'm gonna be honest, I'm a little confused. It'd be nice if we could look around in first person, but obviously that's not possible, but I feel like I'm missing something. Is there something else in this room? Have I, like, ignored another large section of the room again? Oh, Jesus. Okay. Um, no, that's all still there. Was there a door we went past earlier that had a lock on it, or did they just expect us to flutter over and have fun? Uh, well, I got the live shroom, I think I'm going to get rid of... Um... Hmm. I think I'll get rid of a zest special then. Wait, do we have full... We don't, we should have really eaten that. Oh well. Flutter jump. You can flutter to both of these. I don't think I want another shooting star. You can get that. Can you maybe flutter onto... No. Uh, ooh. I think I'm gonna eat this. Let me just throw the shooting star. Thank you. Ah! <laughs> that thing's getting ever so closer to me. So I'm gonna eat that. Everyone just freeze time. Mario needs to eat. And... Get that. There you go. There's... Some... You'd think there'd be a secret around the back of here, but there isn't. Um, okay, I think I'm gonna have to do some backtrack. Actually, I can get this shooting star too, can't I? Do I want another shooting star? I don't think I do, actually. If there were still star pieces around, you can imagine that they'd be hidden sort of down here and behind stuff, but... Hmm. I guess I'm gonna do a bit of backtracking to find that door with a lock on it. Wait, I think I know what it is. I worked it out instantaneously. It's all about the airplane panel. Just because you can stop at the first island doesn't mean you have to. Yes, that's it. You just keep going. There you go. Man, these puzzles are actually tricky. I mean, I know it's been like a few months since I've played this game, but wow. I haven't been stumped in a while. Anyway. Seems very dramatic. For some reason, this hallway reminds me of Merlin in that one action scene where it's slow motion fighting, which is like half of Merlin, but yeah. Anyway, we have a save block and a heart block. We have 50 HP, well, 49. 45 FP, full star power. Uh, partners are probably all nice to help. Well, Vivian isn't, so I'm going to go hit that heart block. But. This is the end of the road. We've come down so many stairs. We're underground Rogueport. I mean, we're probably not even in Rogueport anymore, considering we're also moving away from Rogueport as well as down. So who knows where we are, but uh, the finale is just beyond that door. So I think on that note, my name's been Daz. You didn't really care, and I'll see you in a bit.